you are being sent into a classroom every day as a missionary. Well, hello there, my friend, Jonathan Doyle with you once again. Welcome aboard the Catholic Teacher Daily Message today. You and I, we're going on mission. You ready? Let's get it done. All right, recently a friend gave me a book by the Protestant evangelist John Piper. It's called Don't Waste Your Life. Pretty unambiguous title there, and, you know, it was a good book, it was passionate, but really what caught my attention was the final couple of chapters, where he wrote almost exclusively about the concept of missionary work. And he just made a great case that the growth of the church, historically, statistically, has been tied powerfully to missionary activity. And as the church retreats from missionary activity, the domestic church, the church in any individual country, tends to shrink. And he gives good examples of where when, you know, massive missionary activity was undertaken in the United States, then the faith flourished within the United States as well as flourishing in the countries that missionaries were going to. So there seems to be this kind of compenetration, this relationship between missionary activity and the building up and evangelization of the home body that is sending the missionaries. So it really got me to think, I'm going to give you the quote in just a second, but it got me to realize that we got to fight to hold on to this missionary awareness. Now, most of us are not going to be sent to remote parts of the earth to preach the gospel, but you are being sent into a classroom every day as a missionary. And these are short videos, but if you see me on stage, you know, I talk about Paul VI and Evangelii Nunciandi, who says the Catholic Church does not have a mission. She is a mission. The mission was given to her by Christ. So always remember that the church herself, the one holy Roman Catholic apostolic church, was not established for any reason other other than the Great Commission of Matthew 28 to make disciples. That is why Christ established his church. And the schools, the Catholic schools that are embedded within the Catholic Church participate in the same mission. So I'm going to spend the rest of my life talking about this because I don't have, really, there isn't a lot else to talk about. We can dress it up, we can add all this other stuff to it, but eventually, if we're not making disciples, then we're not fulfilling the Great Commission. We're not living out the, the fullness of our baptismal call and our vocational call in education. These are big ticket issues. These are serious matters. But for now, let me show you this quote because I think it's a really good one. Let's do it. The Christian that is bound by his own horizon, the church that lives simply for itself, is bound to die a spiritual death and sink into stagnancy and corruption. We never can thank God enough for giving us not only a whole gospel to believe in, but a whole world to give it to. Okay, under here in the podcast version, I go way deeper into the early church and you just see this explosion of missionary activity right through from the first century into the fourth century and of course beyond. And the church flourishes when she's missionary. It's not complex. When she's missionary, she grows. She's beautiful. When she stops being missionary, as Simpson says, she stagnates, she falls into corruption. So as Forrest Gump said, you know, I'm not an intelligent man. You know, I don't I don't have much else to say about that this other than I'm here in this studio because I'm trying to be missionary. You know, I got up at 2 a.m. this morning and I was in the studio by 4 a.m. because I wanted to record a bunch of other content because I wanted to be missionary because I'm starting to understand that I'm going to have to give an account of myself to God for the abilities that he gave me and I need to evangelize. And the difference between you and me is that I'm not going to be in your classroom today. I'm not going to be in your classroom tomorrow because that is not the mission field that God has asked me to be present in. It's the mission field he's asked you to be present in. So my friend, draw close to Christ, make his name glorious, make his praises heard and go back into your classroom. Be the incredible Catholic teacher that God's created you to be and realize the power and the beauty and the significance and the dignity of your baptismal call and your missionary vocation. All right, please subscribe to the channel. Get under here and check out all the other links. There's a whole bunch of good stuff there. You can check out my website. There's a link there to my Catholic consultancy work that I do, my speaking engagements, my Instagram page, everything else is there. God bless you, my friend. My name is Jonathan Doyle. This has been the Daily Message for Catholic teachers and you and I are going to talk again you guessed it tomorrow